So I wanted to um, record this and hopefully I can help uh, you guys fix this problem. Um, so recently my TV box um, manufactured by Lee Box uh, just basically um, got stuck in a booting phase. Now I went through all the YouTube and doesn't seem like um, it has this problem. So I'm hoping that um, I can help you guys fix fix this problem. Uh, what it does is it just um, it just stays here and it doesn't do anything. And let me show you if you guys are also having this problem. So what I did was I unplugged it. Oops, I unplug it and plug it back in. So you probably see that booting image. And it just gets stuck here. And your box should be also saying boot. If you have this problem, um, let's go see if we can fix it. Okay, so the next step uh, we need to do is um, we need a couple of things. We need to get the uh, the image file for the box that uh, we're trying to image. Um, we also need a, a driver and um, a burning tool. Now the website that I go to is called ChinaGadgetsReviews.com. There you can find all sorts of firmware our firmware uh, files uh, that you can um, update. Now, as for mine, uh, we're doing a, a Lee box. Mine is Lee box Q2 Mini. So we hit enter. It has uh, two updates. The first one was in 2017. The other, the most recent one, is in 2018. Um, so this is what you do is go down here it has all the the latest firmware software so the latest is the 7.1.2 and also there's a 6.0 and a 5.1 so we want to get the most recent ones now these are they offer a couple of links uh, where you can get it uh, some of them don't work, so that's why they give you multiple um, options. Um, the one that um, I try is in the middle. If you have a, a Q2, um, you know, this will also work for other boxes, um, uh, other TV boxes that you have. Just put in the model number, uh, so it's very, very similar. Um, when you click on this, it will take you to another website um, where you can download the, the file. Uh, for mine, um, it took, um, well actually the site gives you two options. You can download it fast, uh, which you have to pay, or you can um, do a slow download, which for me it took about um, 45 minutes to an hour. So I already downloaded. Um, so I can provide the files down below for you so you don't have to go through the pain. So this is the file, uh, the image file <clears throat> for my box. So you need that. And then you also need um, a driver. For this one, um, it's a 4.5 driver. And it's the same web website that you go to. Just type in um, uh, rock chip driver assistant and it will give you um, many different versions now for what I'm doing I'm, I'm using 4.5 uh, over here they're recommending 4.4 but I try clicking on that and it, it doesn't work so um, luckily they do have other versions if you just uh, do a search in here so download that and um, install it. 
The next thing you need is the burn tool. Now, I need to say a couple of things about this because um, other places uses uh, this burn tool. Now, I tried using it and for some reason it doesn't work for me. And so I was able to research online and found um, another option. Again, I'm going to provide this um, at the uh, description underneath. So it will look something like this. So now we are pretty much ready to go. What you need to do is uh, after you download this image, right, to a file, you click on that file. Okay, let me start over. Be sure you click on firmware, click on the file, and it has it selected it right here. The next thing you do is go to go to upgrade. And right now it can't find anything. So this is what you need to do. You, right now you're ready to plug in your uh, TV box with the computer so it can see it. And so as I explained earlier with the USB uh, cable, plug one end to the laptop, the other one to the, uh, to the box. So we, we're ready to do that right now. Now remember what I said, be sure that the toothpick and the and the USB cable are uh, are plugged in. So first thing you need to do is make is hold on to your toothpick so that you can hear a click. You see, I don't know if you can hear it. You hold down the button inside the AV hole. There's a little button. Hold down that click. Now plug in your USB cable, and you you hear that. You see, the computer was able to detect it, and now it found one load. Now you can let go of the toothpick, and it should begin to do its thing. Give it a couple of seconds. There it is. It detected it and it's ready to um, upload the firmware. This is going to take a while so I'm going to pause the video until it's almost complete. Once it's about 100% complete, um, it will dis disconnect itself and uh, the device will show no device found. So right now it's about 22% or so. Okay, I'm going to pause and come back when it's about done. Okay, so we're back and it's almost complete. It's about 95% complete. Now we'll just watch to see what happens. So let's do this check to make sure everything went pretty smoothly. Another thing I need to point out is that um, for this box I'm using this because it, it works for me and for what you have you you may want to use uh, um, this box here uh, you can just do a search a Google search for it just type in USB burn tool um, I don't know why for some reason mine doesn't work but I was fortunate enough to find uh, this tool that works out for me so Everything went pretty smoothly. Um, it's done. Um, it automatically disconnect 
And um, yeah, it's it's done. We're ready to test the box. Uh, see what happens. All right, let's uh, let me disconnect this and go to my TV and hook everything up to see what happens. So uh, we just finished uploading the firmware, and we're gonna try to see if it works. Um, it's still showing boot and there it is it was successful and you just need to go through the setup prompt and it's back to normal if you like it uh, please give it a thumbs up and um, good luck to you